Hey everybody, welcome back. You're out of screen again. Pull you over back. Okay, I'm back. It is budgeting time. I really don't like it. <laughs> but it, I mean, it helps to a point. Okay. So I have the, instead of doing two different videos, I try to get it in one video because I just kind of go over with you my budget for that, those two weeks. And so, um, this last two weeks, it's all screwed up. I would have had $700 left over, but with Christmas and stuff, that didn't happen. <clears throat> I think I got $100 left over. <laughs> and then that goes right into savings. So, this, because I go from the, like the 1st to the 15th, and then the 15th to the 30th, but his, his, his uh, paycheck isn't like that, but that's kind of what it is. So I'm going from like the, because he gets paid on the 27th. So I'm doing like the 30th to the 15th, something like that. So that's what it is. It's actually uh, the 27th to almost the 15th of January. So there's a couple of things that are paid off, a couple of things that are new that we are doing. And hopefully now that Christmas is over, there's a lot more money to go around. So, and as you know, I do the um, slips, the not new, so, new slips. I actually got some change here that we're gonna start doing. I've, I've been keeping it in here. And I'm gonna steal my husband's coin thingy upstairs. He's gonna say, where did it go? <laughs> and I'll have to take it back upstairs, but I've been collecting change in here. So that's for the beginning of January. So we have the house payment, the internet, which is brand new. I've saved money there. Um, I've got my um, insurance, the car insurance stuff. I've got um, his credit card. He's, uh, that's one that we don't use, but we pay a monthly $8 fee so we don't have to pay the yearly fee. So they break it up. So I got to pay that. Um, the heating, I call it heat, and because we have natural gas, is gone up. We went from like $40 a month, $30 to $40 a month to $97. It's been cold here. <laughs> so it has gone up. I've got my Disney Plus. I've got our bed that we're still paying on. That gets paid off in June. Um, the savings account, there's $25 that automatically comes out. And then I have to renew the domain name for one of the accounts. And then I got, um, all right. Hold on. So then the new things start up. The, um, well, I've been doing the focus. I got to take $16 out. So we'll do that. And 16 for that. And that will go into the registration. And then we've got $14 for, $14 for the property tax for next year, for November. And then we have, oh, I want to start taking out Christmas. So that's 55, but I think I'm just going to do 50. And then clothing is 25 for her school clothes for this next year. And I can't remember how much I was gonna do there, but I'm just gonna take 25 and we'll see how much we have left over in July. So I'll just do it starting January through July. So that's January, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, times 25 every, so that's like $50 a month. So one, two, three, four, four hundred dollars. I think that's what it works out to be. I think 
So there's that. So that's all that's gonna go in here, in my little booklet in the, in the things that it needs to be put into. And it's already in the savings account when I take the money from when he gets paid. So it's already in there. So I'm just track, kind of tracking it here. And so then we have um, the drugstore. We each get pills at the beginning of the month that a $10 copay. So I gotta pay that, it's 20 bucks. Um, now the savings account, what we would have done, the loan and his government payback, that equals $200. So that $200 I actually had to pay off the credit card with. And I think I'm gonna, I think the last one is this, this next paycheck and that credit card is paid off. So then I can start putting it in savings the next check. So, and then my electricity bill is a hundred, a little over a hundred dollars. So I pay 50 and 50, so I owe 50. Um, so that $200 that we would have spent, I have to pay 174 on that card. So that would be paid off. And then, um, I already did the internet. That shouldn't be in here twice. I've got it in here twice and it shouldn't be in here twice. Okay, let me cross that off because that's up there. And then the other credit card that we used, I owe 211. So one I owe 174, one I owe 201. And then um, that will get paid off. And then his other credit card, he owes the fee is $59. But we don't use it. So, I mean, it's paid off. That's all I have to pay. I won't have another payment the rest of the year. And then I did some, like, payment things for Christmas on Afterpay and Zip. And they're small payments. So I got a $9 one, a 13, two $13 ones, a $6 one, and a $10 one. So those will get, um, one of them will be paid off. And then the next check, three of them will be paid off, and I'll only have that one left. So that's not bad. So yeah, so that's it for that. So that's not bad. I just got to add it up and figure out what I'm going to have left after I haven't added anything up in case something creeps up on me. And I think I added that last one. Yeah, I did. So, that is it for that. Isn't that fun? This is not fun. I hate bills. And so, I gotta see how much I'm going to have left over. Probably not a whole lot. And I still haven't got gas in the car and groceries. Those are big ones, especially the grocery. I've been, try I've, I've been trying to figure out how I can make that work. So we got gas for the cars and groceries. I try not to go anywhere. There's no reason to. I mean, he's working at home and I'm home. The only thing that I would have to do is go into school for something or go to the grocery store. So I'm hoping with Ariel home, I do, I promised her that we would go shopping and that we would, she'll go grocery shopping with me and that if it snows enough, I can take her into town and I'll take her sledding. But that's it. That's, I shouldn't have to, I'm not going anywhere else, do anything else. So, I'll, I'll put these in here. So what do we got? We had... Property tax was how much? 14. That's right here. So we will put this in there. Now these extra things I'm not doing at all. The home repair thing, we just hope that nothing happens. Christmas I am doing 50. Car registration is 14. And 16. 16 for the car registration and what was the last one clothing clothes right here we're gonna have to move this one up 
25. So we'll move this up to what I'm paying. What I'm paying on. Okay. So car maintenance, birthdays. We don't have birthdays until July, so I'm not taking money out for that yet. Pets. Camping, I haven't even figured that out yet. Domain, the domain I gotta pay is 20 bucks. So I just figured I'd just take it out. I don't have to save for that. Uh, Copay, I got some money in here. And Tiny Toes, I've been putting um, $40 in there. So yeah, that is everything with that. So. Yeah, I'll put, let's see, tiny toes over here, we'll put 40, because I've got something I'm paying on through the, through that account, and also I ended up getting a credit card for that account. But I'm going, to, I'm paying off the, they take the annual fee first. So I'm paying that off. And then if, if, I, if something comes up and I have to pay for something out of that account, I can and then pay it off. So there's that. And it helps my credit too. It bumped my score up to, I was in the 500s this last year. And I, because I've paid some stuff off, I'm at 640 something, 650, which is pretty good considering I don't work. <laughs> so I'm trying not, I'm trying to clean up my credit a little bit and so that it's better. It's not bad, but it's not great either. So anyway, so that's everything for this one. And I do have to pay on, I didn't write those down. I do have to pay on, I, did I put cell phone on here? I always forget the cell phone. Um, yeah, so I'll have the, the cell phone. It's got to get paid too. So that is another hundred and something I got to pay off. Cell phone. So depending on how much money I have off, it's like right now I owe $190 on my cell phone. So I'm going to put 190 over here. And if I have to make a payment plan, the new bill doesn't come out until like the beginning of the, uh, it comes out the beginning of the year. So I might get behind a little bit for that. Christmas always screws up everything. So yeah, I got to figure that out. And then I pay, if I can, I pay on her dental, get that paid off. I owe $87 over there for that. And what else? I owe 87 for that. Oh, my old internet provider. I owe 60, $60 and I'm only going to pay on that. I'm only going to give them like 15 bucks. I'm just going to pay on it until it's paid off. And then um, his for his feet. I owe $40. Actually, no, I owe 90 now. So I got to send them some money too. So we'll see what I have left after the initial bills for the payment for um, the extra kind of bills, you know, the extra, extra stuff. And then because it can, some of that stuff can wait for his next check. So I'm not worried about that. And then we start a new planner. And I've already got it all filled in, guys, from when when everything is, is due. Let me see if I can hide this stuff and hold on to it. So you can see I have it all filled in just about. So I will figure out what is left. So let's do that real quick. 
um, like I said, I haven't done groceries or anything yet, so we'll, we'll just do, we'll just add everything up. bit more is coming out now because of Christmas. But it's not as bad as it was last year. All of this will be paid off by the end of January, which is awesome. And we can start all over again. Okay, so let's get a sticky. It comes to 2,104. Oh, seven. Okay. And that's without groceries and gas, doing groceries and gas. So our total our income is going to be this. And it's actually gone up a little bit. Actually, no, not until January is 25 so his total income is 25,518. And so let's minus 2104.07 equals. That leaves me $414.50 for groceries and gas, which isn't bad. And I should automatically just take $100 of that right off and just go stick it in our savings account, the one I don't touch. But I have a feeling, see, I subtracted all this out that I added in here, but I still need to pay, I, I really do need to pay something on those other um, bills. But I want to get those credit cards paid off. And that's why it's so high. So we'll have to see. But that's not bad. I've got 414 left over. And if I didn't have to go grocery shopping and put gas in the car, <laughs> we'd be awesome. So, and groceries, I think what I'm going to do, I, I wrote a list. But I always write a list. When something goes out, I get more. I need paper towels. I have to get more meat, and that's killing us right there is the meat because it's so friggin' expensive. And I have to get some canned vegetables. So those are the three things that I have to get. And the meat itself will probably be close to 100 bucks. I'm gonna try not to. I'm gonna go through the freezer and see what I have, what I don't have to buy. I know I need hamburger. I need chicken. And we don't buy our steaks over there. We have a butcher that is here in, in Fillmore. And I go up there to get steaks. So I, it'll probably cost me 25, 30 bucks for steaks. We'll see. We only eat those once a week. So, but I need hamburgers. I need stuff for dinners, you know, chicken, hamburger. I need to get some stew beef. It's mostly meat stuff. And then, uh, like my milk and eggs and bread kind of stuff, I get at the grocery store because I run out of that all the time. So, yeah, it's not going to be too bad. 
I'd like to keep it under 200 bucks if I can, but I, I bet it's not going to be. I can almost guarantee it's going to be 300 because of the price of everything. So we'll see, I'll see what I have, and then I'll only get what I absolutely have to get and have it last for two weeks. And then eventually here we'll get caught up a little bit and I'll have more money. So, <clears throat> but I'm still going to try to get this stuff paid off. There's a bunch of stuff that's going to get paid off. So I might not be able to put as much towards Christmas as I want. So we'll see. But everything else I have to pay for. So, yeah. Anyway, that's it for this budgeting thing. I hope you enjoyed it. I didn't. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Bye.